Right, guys, welcome to day 44 of the ICT Games Daily Dollop of Maths. Keeping the math skills bubbling over while we can't be in school for year one and year two. Um, hope you're all right. Uh, please be sat with an adult. Uh, please have a piece of paper and a pencil ready. Um, and please um, uh, call out, join in, love your mistakes. Okay, here we go, guys. So we're going to start some counting. Are you ready? Here we go. Uh, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Keep going, fifteen. Keep going, eyes. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven. Keep going, guys. Twenty-eight. Can I hear you? Twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three. 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54. Keep going, guys. 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61. 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. Oh, out of breath now. Good job, guys. Okay, counting in fives. Here we go. Counting in fives. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. And again, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Right, close your eyes. Whoosh. Open your eyes again. What number's missing? What number's under the star bar? Yes, it's 40. Good job. Turn to the person next to you say, well done you. Okay, close your eyes again. Whoosh. Open your eyes again. What number's missing? Yes. It's 25. Well done. Okay. One more time. Close your eyes. Open your eyes for me. What number's missing? Yes. Well done. 45. Good job, guys. Okay. Now, so we've been looking at our times tables and our uh, multiplying things. It means the same thing. 5 multiplied by 3. 5 times 3. It means the same thing. 5 times 3, let's have a look at 5 times 3. Here we've got an array, well done, okay. And it's uh, 5, here's time number 1. There's 5 of them. Time number 1, time number 2, time number 3. 3 times, 5, 3 times, times 3. Okay, we can count that in 5s, 5, 10, 15. But if we don't have an array in front of us, if somebody just says to us, what's 5 times 3? Then we can think about three fingers and count in fives. Five, ten, fifteen. There's the answer. It's not as quick as just knowing it, and it's really not um, uh, enough to be able to do it like that for the future. But while we're learning, it is absolutely fine. Okay. By the time we in year uh, by the end of year two, you really want to try and know uh, in year two the two, five, and ten times table just like that without even thinking. Which is why we play that dice game. Okay, dub, 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 dub. let's try another one. Oh yeah, so we had five times three, but what else do we know? What else do we know? If we know five times three, we also know that three times five is fifteen. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. Okay. Now there's a new bit of learning that we haven't talked about before, which is this thing here divided by division and it's funny there's two ways you can do div divided by 
Uh, I'm going to show you the grouping way, okay? This is going to work with 15 divided by 5, and it's going to be for a story like um, you've got 15 sweets, you want to give uh, them away in piles of... Oh, that's not a very good one, is it? Let me think. You've got um, uh, 15 sweets, and you make them into bags of five, how many bags will you make? So I've got 15 sweets, I'm, I'm have for a party, I'm bagging them up into bags of five, how many bags will I make? Here's a group, it's grouping, a group of five, one, two, three, how many piles are made? One, two, three piles, so 15 grouped into bags of five gives me three bags. Okay, I'll show you the other way of division in a minute. Okay, let's clear that one and we'll do another times table. Five times seven. Okay, five times seven. There's five there. How many times? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Times seven. Okay, should we count them in fives? Join in five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five. There's 35 there altogether, but if I didn't have an array in front of me, I could work this one out by thinking, where's my seventh finger? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now I can count in fives until I get there. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. So five times seven is 35. And that's what we got before, isn't it? Okay. We also know that if 5 times 7 is 35, there's something else. What's the other thing? Yeah. 7 times 5 is 35. We didn't lose anything there. There's still the same number of dots. New bit of learning that we're doing today. Divided by. Okay, this is going to group it into piles of 5. So I've got, let me think... Um, I've got 35 cakes. I've put them into boxes of five cakes in each box. How many boxes will I make? So you've got 35 cakes. You put them into boxes of five. How many boxes will you make? Here's a pile of five. How many of these have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So knowing 35, I know my five times table I can think of 35 divided by 5 how many fives does it have it has 7 okay let's have another go let's do another one 5 times 4 5 times 4 time number 1 time number 2 time number 3 time number 4 5 times 4 turns your partner what's 5 times 4 5 10 15 20 fantastic so, oops, sorry. I'm just going to work out 5 times 4. I, if I don't know my times tables, I can count on my finger until I get to the fourth finger. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 15, 20. Yeah, 20. Oh, okay. Now, year twos. If you know that 5 times 4 is 20, you also know that 4 times 5 is 20. Good job. Okay. And the thing that we've talking about for the first time today is division divided by, okay? If I know that five times four is 20, if I know my five times table, I can use it to answer divided by stories, division stories, and this is grouping, we're grouping things, okay? Now, this would be, let me think, uh, imagine a word problem that will go with this one. Uh, I could say, uh, that uh, I've got 20 t-shirts and I'm putting them into packs of five for my shop. How many packs of five can I make? Here's one here. There we go. So, that it's, so it's 20 divided by five into packs of five. Here's a pile of five. How many of these will we have? One, two, three, four. Because I know that 5 times 4 is 20, I can think of 20 divided by this 5 must equal 4. Okay, now 
that's grouping when you put it into groups. It's, there's another okay. There's another way of using division. Here it is. Uh, this is called doggy division dinners. Okay. The other way of using division is sharing, and I think this is what people think most of, of division. It's a bit like saying I've got ten dog bones. I've got two dogs. How many bones do they get each? So what I've got is I've got my ten bones down here, and I'm going to share them out between the two dogs. And I'm going to keep sharing them until I run out. And then the answer is going to be how many do they get each? So we're not making piles anymore. We're sharing between two puppies, okay? So 10 divided by 2, shared between 2. How many do they get each? Five bones each. Okay, let's see what we've got next. They're still hungry. Those puppies. They get so hungry. Right. Okay. 5 divided by 5. So we've got 5 bones. We've got f and we're sharing it with 5 puppies. So there are 5 puppies. Uh, you've got 5 bones. How many do they get each? And I just keep handing them out until I run out of bones. How many do they, how many do they get each? 1. 5 divided by 5 equals 1. They're still hungry. Right. Now we don't know our four times table, uh, unfortunately, but you don't need to in this one because you've got eight bones, you've got four puppies. Uh, how many p uh, bones do they get each? And we keep sharing them out until we run out. How many fours can you make with eight? How many do they get each? Two each. It's a bit like double four, isn't it? It's eight. Mm -hmm. Little happy puppies. Ah, they're still hungry. Last one. They're going to get fat. Not good for these puppies. Okay. 20 divided by four. So you've got 20 bones and there's four puppies. How many do they get each? Oh, do you know what? I think we might know that answer with our counting in fives, don't we? I'm guessing, I think I know, I'm guessing five because I think four times five is 20. So that's going to give me the answer. I'm guessing five. I've got to keep being systematic, sharing them out equally. Okay. How many do they get each? Sorry, I can't speak. How many do they get each? Five. 20 divided by four is five. 20 shared between four is five. Okay, we're going to stop there. Uh, right, and then uh, your treat today is you get a button on your bicycle. And when you're cycling along next to your friends and you press that button, it, set, it switches on your rocket motor and you go, <laughs> your cheeks wobble. <laughs> Okay, and then I've got some sad news. Um, uh, you might not think it's sad news, but I think it's sad news. Um, I can't do any more of these videos. My uh, family circumstances have changed. So from next week, I won't be able to record these videos anymore. So this is the last one. So um, thank you for your time. Um, you can I'll just turn this one off. <laughs> little puppy, you be quiet now, puppy. Um, so hopefully, um, hopefully uh, this has been really useful um, and helped you. Um, uh, and... Uh, if you can still uh, go back and play some of the games uh, or, or watch some of the previous videos, um, I would. You need to keep practicing the same skills. That's how we learn. You've got to keep covering the ground that you've already covered. Um, just because you know how something is done doesn't mean you can do it every single time. So you need to go back. You need to overlearn. So go back to the things you've already done. Um, uh, but um, thank you for your time and um, well done, guys. And um, look after yourselves. Cheerio. Bye-bye.